Welcome to Learning Mall. This is lesson number nine in our series of subtraction for kids and in this lesson we're really going to think about story problems for kids. Um, we're really going to think about what sort of story problems your child will be faced with at this level. Again we're focusing on that sort of key stage two, that seven, eight year old to eleven. Um, and how they would be um, approaching these. Now, um, the one we're going to start with would be something that your child would be faced with probably at the end of Key Stage 2. So um, I will take a step back after this and do a slightly simpler, simpler one as well. But I want to give you an essence of what you're aiming for, where you're going to. Um, this one also is very relevant to real life. So again, it's bringing that real life relevance and that real life context in into story problems and being able to apply that maths as well. So the decisions your child need to make here are A, what information is relevant to me? B, what am I actually going to do to solve this? What operation do I need to use? Um, what calculation do I need to use? And then also, how am I actually going to solve it? How, what method am I going to choose um, to actually solve it and then um, answer it? We would use a little saying called rucksack, which actually helps them to remember. So R, read the problem. U, understand it. What is it actually asking you to do? Where is your relevant information? C, choose an operation. So is it going to be an adding, subtraction? Or what is it? Um, S, solve it, so actually writing your calculation and choosing your method. A, answer, have you actually answered what the question is asking you? And then C, nearly forgot there, check, double checking to make sure that you've actually answered the question and that your answer is correct. So the first step would be to read it, so we're reading it. I'll actually put rucksack down the side there just so that you can, or on the board here so that you can see it, but it's a really nice little way of helping you remember. So number one is reading it, so we've read the problem. Understanding it, so that's where you would be, you're highlighting your information. So I would be encouraging children at this stage to highlight their numbers first that they're going to be using and then highlight um, key information. So like how many here left is going to be telling them that it's something to do with the subtraction because they already know that from using their mathematical vocabulary that left is usually to do with subtraction and then this is really really key it's ask, asking the child to answer in grams it's not just asking for an answer so that's how integral and how much detail your child needs to be looking into and um, so it is challenging but it's all about practice and it's all about actually going through this process so now they've done that they're going to work this out and um, what we would be wanting to do is again asking children to decide what they're going to do here because you can't do two take away four it just doesn't work so it's not two grams take away 400 so they need to think about that so again as i say it's that challenge of actually converting the kilograms and then taking away and then getting their answer so it's all that sort of process so we've done the reading we've done the understanding we're now going to choose our operation which we know is subtraction so we know already it's subtraction. Okay, and they know that they can't do two take away four, so they know that they have to change that two kilograms into 2,000 grams. Okay, so now they can do it. So they're going to now solve. So they will write their 2,000, take away their 400. Now that can be done as a column. A subtraction but I would say most children at this stage will be able to do that mentally if they can't they can use the column method no problem at all so but I'm just going to say probably do it mentally at this stage so they know that there will be 1600 left and there is their answer essentially the calculation isn't massively difficult but actually finding out what they have to do is quite challenging so it's not just always about yes I can do a column subtraction, it's about I can do a column subtraction and I can apply it into a real life context. So just taking a step back, that's what you're basically aiming for is that more complex idea of a solving a problem. This would probably be the lower end of key stage two, so you're talking in and around um, the P3, P4, year three sort of level um, where they're actually just asking them to actually do their calculations 
Um, this again is multi-step, so it has two steps in it, so a wee bit more challenging than just giving them a straight, I have, I take away, how many are left. So Jim has 49 sweets, he gives 14 to Ray and 12 to Joe, how many are left? So again, rucksack, I'll write it on there just to remind us again. This is honestly a really, really good way to actually train your children to really think about what they're doing with problem solving because it is so easy just to jump in and grab the numbers and do what you think rather than what it's actually asking you to do. And this would be the biggest, as teachers, this would be the biggest problem we have with problem solving with children. It isn't the fact that they don't know what they're doing, it's the fact that they jump in with two feet and they don't actually read the information, whereas this gets them to slow down and gets them to think a wee bit more about what they're supposed to be doing so reading it then understanding it again so that's highlighting the key information so we know he's got 49 we know he gives four and I would even underline that gives he's got the 12 he gives them to them and then again we've got that left so we know now that it's actually taking away so we've read we've understood we're choosing the operation that's left tells us that it's a subtraction and then we start to solve so we know first of all he gives 14 away, so we want to do our 49, take away 14, and you might want to do that as a column, no problem at all, 9 take away 4 is 5, 4 take away 1 is 3, so he's got 35 sweets left. He then, and I would actually even tick that off to say I've done that, he then wants to give 12 away, so that he has to start with 35, and he takes his 12 which is three and two, and he's got 23 left. I'm checking, am I answering the question? The question says, how many are left? Yep, there's 23 left. And then I am double checking. Double checking, we talked about using the inverse in um, other videos. This also can work with using the inverse for addition. So what you can do is you can add your 12, your 14, and your 23, and you should get back to your 49 but I'm not focusing on that in this lesson, but I will focus on it in another lesson. But it just, just to throw that out there to get your child really thinking about that double checking and thinking about those calculations.